No, it's not another scam email sent by HMRC. Do you think this email is a scam email? Look into email phishing indicators within this email. Do you still believe this email is a scam email? If you think this is a scam email, watch till the end as your answer unfortunately is wrong. But if you believe your answer is right before watching, write this in the comment and be proud of yourself. Before we start, what's a phishing email or what's a phishing? According to the UK National Cyber Security Center, phishing is when a criminal criminals use a scam emails, text messages or phone calls to trick their victims, the scammers. The aim is often to make you as a victim to visit a website which can uh, download a virus into your computer. This will allow them to control your computer or steal your personal information like banking information and so on. This is in short what uh, phishing exactly is. Let's go back and see is our email is a scam email or phishing email or not. Indicators of phishing emails, as you said, this is a phishing email. I'm sure 90% of you will say this is a phishing email, but I'm saying to you, this is not phishing email. Indicator of phishing email, first thing, uh, uh, the URL, uh, sorry, um, the email address where this message sent should be from cov.uk, uh, from the UK government. But what we can see here, it's cov.tickets.co.uk, that means anyone can generate this type of domain name. Also, the logo of HMRC. HMRC, if someone watching us from outside, HMRC is uh, the tax uh, man here in UK, okay? The tax office in the UK. HMRC logo, it's not the correct logo. Also, this should be, it's, there's a typo error here. H <clears throat> should be HMRC, HM, not HN, okay? This is another typo. And there's also a couple of English typo, English errors in the paragraph. And the final indicator is 2015 and we are now in 2022. Okay. If it's a scam email, if you think this is a scam email, that means it's more likely it's a kid who generated this scam email. Because if you provide this email to your son in the school or your daughter in the school, seven years old or eight years old, they will say to you straight away, this is a scam email. Again, I'm saying to you, this is not a scam email. Okay. Let's investigate uh, uh, more in this email. Okay. One thing I need to do is to check the email header. Okay. To check the email header. To find the email header with an Outlook, click on File, uh, Properties, and here is the email header of the email we receive. Remember, email header, if you don't know what's email header, after watching this video, go to Google and search what's, uh, what's email header. But however, in short, email header will keep track of everything related to the email, like the source IP address, the, uh, uh, the receiver IP address, uh, <clears throat> the email address of the receiver, the email address of the sender, uh, the route where the email address went through and um, <clears throat> scamming uh, protocols, scamming checks and so on. All of these will be within the email header. Uh, within this email header, let's check the email header. What we can find, usually we read the email header from the bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top. Uh, once we start reading the email header, uh, <clears throat> we straight away we notice there is amazon.es.com okay this one indicator amazon.es.com let's jump it message id 
if you need to report this uh, uh, email to the sender and the subject of the message refund of text and this is the date when the message was sent and from this is uh, the from where who sent the message the email address but what i'm what i am uh, interesting on the ib address of the sender the ib address of the sender okay the ib address of the sender we will should we will should find the ib address just give me a couple of seconds here is the ib address of the sender okay this is the ib address of the sender why i need to to know the ib address because i need to know who's behind this email okay copy the ib address the IP address of the sender. Then we can go to who is, who is. I will keep the link on the description, and check. This IP address is belong to Amazon. Okay, it's belong to Amazon. That means the sender has used Amazon Web Services, Amazon Web Services, to send this email let's try to find the amazon web server to sign this amazon web server it allow you to uh, host your machine uh, like uh, uh, linux machine windows machine and you can uh, work uh, in the cloud okay but however do you think criminal will use ours uh, or amazon uh cloud services to launch their attacks uh to be honest it's very hard because amazon will require you the authentication of your address your name and the most important thing is credit card information yes criminal can provide this information false information but it's not straightforward okay uh and it's easy uh to <clears throat> it's easy uh to uh report any scams uh, to amazon okay i will keep the link in the comments below then now we note we know that this email being sent by this ib address okay this ib address and this ib address is hosted within amazon uh, server then let's go back to the email okay now i am i will close this email header okay now I am certain that this email is more likely sent by someone else, not a scammer. But however, there is within the email, there is a claim forum, isn't it? Claim forum. Once you highlight this claim forum, you can view the URL, okay? You can view the URL. Let me right click, copy hyperlink, copy the hyperlink and view it in the browser okay and view it in the browser it will <clears throat> the url is tickets.co.uk okay uh, fair enough but however what we notice here is meta compliance okay meta compliance uh -huh, that mean we need to check what's meta compliance is exactly copy and paste Okay, copy and paste. Let's see what Meta Compliance is exactly. Then we note that Meta Compliance provide awareness cybersecurity training to organizations. Okay, to organization. And then if you go to product phishing simulation, phishing simulation, you will find that you will find the, uh, that uh, they said Meta Fish is being used to run phishing ex uh, exercises with mine uh, how effective the security awareness training has been now i am certain that email is not sent by scammer it's sent by uh, the employee or oh, sorry the employer to know who is uh, more va valuable to scams email and once you click on that email let's click on that email okay let's click on that uh, link once we click on on the link this is the link it will be it will be reported okay it will be reported and what we say to us this is 
This was a fishing simulation to test your fishing knowledge. Aha, uh -huh, that means this is not a scam email. This email sent by a third party company that organizations um, employed to test their employee uh, awareness of cyber security. If you agree with me, type it in the comment. If you are not agreeing with me, also type it in comment okay i'm happy to share uh, the url if you need to do more investigation uh, into this one i'm happy with that and make sure you subscribe like write comments uh, to see the new uh, videos in the near future thank you very much